As you would have noticed, my stint in the political arena was really short. I only entered political arena because I taught the, prime, the new prime minister. So the new prime minister wanted me as part of her government. She made me a minister of health. I caused chaos. They pleaded for me to get out. So um, I agreed with them on that plea. So I, I give them even much more stress so they would plea louder. Now, again, from the academic background, I think I have to start, first of all, understanding cultural diversity. So, if any mistakes are here, I finished this with, with the help of my, these are actually two of my um, technical experts from Geneva, and they, I asked them, help me with this, and they sent me something at, at 11 o'clock on um, Tuesday night, and then I sat till 3 o'clock in the morning changing it to me. So they're here to see how the me converts what the diplomat's supposed to see and what the academic will see. So I'm being monitored. I mean, I think I am one of the first persons to find someone on the internet and marry them. He wrote to me and said, hi, I my name is Penguin and you are I was Tropical Bear. Cultural diversity refers to the variety of the makeup or what we call the multiculturalism, which is not really a good word these days. In Trinidad and Tobago, we were made as kids to learn the words of our national anthem where every creed and race find an equal place. And then we always ended with, together we aspire, together we achieve. And as a kid, I was proud of saying that. I mean, that was our national anthem. And they asked me to say something about myself. Describe yourself, the, the description was. And I put a little of this, a little of that, just enough not to get fat. Okay, that didn't work any part anymore, but that, at that time, it was true. How many of you all know that Who Let The Dogs Out came from Trinidad? That song has grown all over the world, and it was, from, it was one of our calypsos. I have whined to that song. And by the way, when we say whine, we do not mean drink. We mean a gyration of the hips. I am an expert of that. One day I will teach you. Do not ever don't cry that of a garbage man. Like, I mean, it's really a nice job, eh, if you think about it. You work in the morning, and you have, uh, most times after lunch, you're free. So, it could be my next juncture. But that was a Monday, a Friday morning, half past four. She calls. Um, she said, I've been trying to reach you. And I looked at the clock and I'm like, it's half past four in the morning. She goes, well, I need you to be in my government. I said, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Charlie. Me? Thank you.